Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. We have freedom. It's a 10, the end of challenges. You're feeling free here. It's about your freedom. Let the unicorn set you free. So spirit, unicorns are representing spirit, obviously. Spirit will support you here. Is your time for to set yourself free from something here? I'll take the top one. The moon card. The moon. Archangel Haniel. Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. So don't be frightened here to set yourself free from something that's holding you back. Definitely, because the universe is wanting to help you and spirit's wanting to help you here. So your intuition could be heightened here. You could be sensing here that you need to set yourself free from something. That can feel a wee bit scary. The universe is working behind the scenes here. They're, they're connecting in with you to inspire you, to bring, to set yourself free, to set something, let something go here. Spirit, please show me the guidance in relation to this message. If this resonates, please like, share and subscribe. Five of Pentacles. Mm, five's a change. The beautiful sun card. It's the most auspicious card in the deck. The two of Wands. Choices. Queen of Swords, Page of Pentacles, which is overall central energy for the reading. The Strength card, Leo energy here. You could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with Leo in their chart. The Nine of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Fool card. So what we've got here is we've got something that's very challenging. Things have become very challenging. You can feel like one thing after another here is going on. These are karmic lessons you're learning. So always, you know, and when things are challenging, we're gaining insight into what sits well with you. So you're learning all the time. You're wisening up here. You're definitely getting wiser. There's a feeling of disappointment and let down here, feeling left out in the cold. It's kind of an abandonment type feeling where we're feeling as if a cup's half empty instead of half full. So that's what we need to change. So it's challenging times. It's disappointing times. If these people looked up, they could seek refuge in the church. And what we're saying there is, what I mean by that is there's always something we can cling to that we can uh, build on. So this challenging time could be with finances, relationships, work or environments of any kind. So take it as it resonates for you. But there'll be something you could cling to here. It's about letting these challenges go or these disappointments go rather, I beg your pardon. Letting these challenges go and focusing what you have in the present. We need to be in the present now, most definitely. Now, this could have been something that you've put a lot of effort into. You've shown a lot of patience with. You've persevered, but you feel... I'm not prepared to put any more effort into this. I've done my best here and I'm getting now, my, my intuition is telling me um, and spirit is telling me I need to let this go now. I've done my best here and I, I feel as if I've no more to give. So you need, you're going to have to set yourself free here from the challenging times. And sometimes the one thing we need to do is to have faith and take a leap of faith forward onto a brand new journey. And that can end your challenges. Now, it's about having faith in yourself and your abilities. It's about trusting in spirit. And they are saying here, release your fears because spirit has got your back. You know, you're being inspired for a reason. You're feeling like this for a reason. Your intuition is telling you something for a reason. Your higher self spirit is connecting in with you here. Your psychic abilities, your intuition is telling you that you need to take this leap of faith forward to start this brand new journey and put all these challenging things behind you here. Now, this is about making this uh, choices, most definitely, to get yourself onto a more productive path. So we've always got choices in life, always. We're never chained. Chained is an illusion. Fear is an illusion. Um, we always have options and we always have choices and we can change direction in life anytime we choose. So we're going to have to think about this carefully um, and make serious decisions about cutting people and situations out of your life that no longer serve you. And that's what I was saying here. You know, I've put enough effort into this. I feel it's time for change now. I need to take this leap of faith forward. 
So this can be the singles card for some people, definitely. But the point being here that once you make up your mind, nobody is going to change it. You stick to your guns here. You don't let people talk you out of things. Your intuition is guiding you. Spirit is guiding you. Your insights are guiding you. Your gut feeling is telling you that it's time to come into the present and make choices with regards to situations where you feel disappointment. So you can speak up. You can be communicating. You have the right to be heard. Don't be frightened to communicate how you're feeling, what you've decided here. And that will get you onto this brand new path. So you're making better choices for yourself in the future. Twos are choices. And it's time to make choices. Definitely here. Now, it's about your stability. It's about going towards stability. Now, this can be gathering information that can help you with your choices uh, and your decisions that you're making. This can also be study, going back to study. If you want to leave your job and go back and study a course or learn something new here, that's what this Page of Pentacles is. But it's thinking about your stability, it's information gathering here, and it's about, you know, it can be, like I say, academia coming in. And you're understanding here that if you put the work and effort in and through patience and time, things will start to, you'll start to see the fruits of your labour. Things will start to grow for you again. So this is a time where you're going to have to be strong Definitely, there's major decisions having to be made with regards to the next path you go down to get the stability back for you, whatever you consider that to be. Um, but strength comes from remembering how far you've come. And like I said earlier, pat yourself on the back. You've been through this, this challenging time here. It's been um, hard karmic lessons that you've learned. But you're wiser now. So think you've survived all this. So you're stronger than you give yourself credit for. And you have got the strength to make these decisions based on the challenges and the knowledge that you've gained from everything that life has put you through up till now. Now, you're still standing. It's not over yet. But I think you do understand here that you need to set yourself free from something that's causing these disappointments. It's time to take that leap of faith to let go your disappointments and start up new beginnings where you will feel more stable. There will be a lot of happiness that will come from this. Things will work out for you because you're following your intuition. You're doing the right thing here and you're being brave. And the universe rewards you for all these positive things that you're doing. Um, the planets will align. You will be... This is the most suspicious card in the deck. So there's happiness all around here. Your disappointments are ending. Your challenges are ending. You've shown faith in yourself and spirit. You've set yourself free from challenging times, people and environments, and you will be rewarded for that. So think about your happiness here, most definitely. Your stability, your happiness. Pages are the starts of that. It's about taking a lead role in your life now. And it's about, you know, being disciplined, committing yourself to this new path that you're choosing. And you can build great things. There'll be great things. Growth will come back to your life. You'll be passionate about what you're investing in here. You're wiser, like we said, than you were before. So you've got all that knowledge you can take with you when it comes to your decision making or problem solving in the future. And you can build beautiful things here. Now, this can also be getting advice from somebody who's very knowledgeable that can help you as well when it comes to, um, you know, education of some sort in a certain area of your life. So it's time for these passionate new beginnings, new ventures to start up, getting ourselves onto that path where we're going to enjoy life, letting the disappointments and the challenges go. Spirit is wanting you to set yourself free and have brand new opportunities for growth and, and happiness. Growth and happiness here. Balance. It's time to find balance in your life. What is most important to you? Remember, we're meant to be enjoying life and everything we put our efforts into here. Skills. Skills. It's time to learn some new skills, study a course or start up a new hobby. Absolutely. And that could be it for some of you as well. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.